guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, today I'm going to make a video for all of you guys, uh, new med school students, new doctors, that how to study. Uh, in my previous video, I made the books which you all should uh, study and deal with. Um, now I'm going to tell you that how you study, right? Um, like, with sub like, for example, how you study anatomy. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you and hopefully um, you will be able to do it. And um, everyone is different, as I said. So maybe the way I study will not be like you guys study. So the way you guys study, keep it going, right? And if you guys follow like the way I study, so good. If not, you can just see that how I study and maybe you can uh, compare and uh, see your advices as well. Um, so let's start with anatomy today. Um, first of all, uh, for general anatomy, the book we I prescribe for you all uh, is basically B.D. Chirasia's General Anatomy GA. Um, so let's start. So first of all, before coming into these books, the regions books, you should know the basis, right? Um, so uh, this book basically comprises of you, uh, your how many chapters? 10 chapters, right? So this book is comprising of 10 chapters. Now you will be like, oh my God, 10 chapters, regions, like, boom. <laughs> right, so, but it's not so difficult if you get used to and you main, you come on the right track. Once you come on the right track, you're fine, okay? So first of all, what is general anatomy? Uh, general anatomy is basically the basis before coming into the detail. Now coming to the most important thing that is that is with your your region. That is when you start with the regions. So that is basically how you're gonna study the GA. I'm gonna make videos for the GA so it will help you that how much you should study. The cephalic trunk is located, where your arteries are located, where is the atrium, everything. This is just the general thing that here these structures are located. When you want to go into depth example this is the chapter of your GA circulatory system the heart system now when you're a GA you're studying you don't have to go into so much detail like where exactly the break now come in for the region section I'm gonna give you an example for the lower limb region the same technique will be followed in the upper limb region in your thorax region and in the lower limb region this is my Netter's atlas you can see it is put just besides my textbook whatever which textbook you guys you guys are using now whichever uh, topic you're studying like for example you're studying the popliteal artery first of all you should find that particular topic in your netter's atlas like here the popliteal artery is located on page 489 of the netter this is located this one this small artery now i get the idea now when you will read from the textbook uh, your you can follow it like we can say that the popliteal artery it comes from here it moves all the way up to the popliteal uh, fossa where it then can leaves the lower limb by becoming the femoral artery so this will give you a very complete course like you can see this is the popliteal artery here it will go up 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 here it pierces the popliteal fossa and this artery this is known as the femoral artery. I identify very easily the course everything of the popliteal artery and you can also be able to identify the relations what are present in front of the artery below the artery behind everything same is the case with your muscles your nerve supply so it is really helpful that you keep both side by side and that is basically how you study anatomy hope this helps uh, if you still have problems comment on the reply box below and i'll see what you guys have